Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can split the channels in your photos to create this really cool retro effect in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just choose a photo. And today I've chosen this photo which I got from unsplash.com. And this particular effect works really well when you're wanting to use it on a predominantly black background. So you've got the subject here, you can see the subject's nicely and well exposed, but you can see the background is predominantly black. And that is where this particular effect works best. So what we want to do is we go, I'm going to actually show you two ways of actually breaking these into different channels. I'm going to use the red, green and blue channels for one instance and then the second instance I'm going to show you how you can do it with cyan, magenta, yellow and black to create a slightly different effect. So what we want to do first is we're going to be using it for red, green and blue. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in the correct mode for Photoshop. So we're going to go to image, we're going to go to mode and we're just going to make sure we've got RGB color space checked. And as you can see, we have so far. Right, so we're going to go ahead and select RGB. Then what you want to do, because RGB has got three channels, you want to split this particular effect into three different layers of the same photo. So we've got our background layer here. We're going to actually duplicate that two times. So we're going to press Command J and you can see we've got one layer and then we can press Command J again. And Command J just duplicates that background layer. Now what we want to do is to actually name them red, green, and blue. So I'm going to name the first one red. I'm going to name the next one green. And I'm going to name the last one blue. Lovely. So we've got a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel represented within three different layers in Photoshop. Then what we're going to do is go to our red channel and we're going to double click on the thumbnail. So we're going to double click and what that'll do is it'll bring up our layer stylizing box. In the layer stylizing box, we've actually got three channels that you can see here. We've got the red one, which is called R. We've got the green one that's called G and we've got the blue one called B and they've got three ticks in it. What we want to do is at each channel, we just want to have one channel selected per layer. So with our red channel, we're going to turn green and blue off and that is represented within a red thumbnail appearing on the right hand side. And all we need to do is click OK. We want to do that for the green channel. So we're going to go ahead to our green channel here. We're going to double click. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off everything but green. So we're going to turn off red and we're going to turn off blue. And as you can see, that has appeared a green thumbnail in there. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And with the blue channel, we're going to do the very last. Instead of doing it with green and red, we're going to do it with blue. So we're going to turn off green and we're going to turn off red. And as you can see, we have got a blue thumbnail here. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, as you can see, the photo hasn't changed. It's because at the moment they are perfectly over in front of each other. So what we need to do is just ever so slightly transform them and move them away from each other to create this split channel. So we're going to go to our red first and I'm going to go ahead and go to edit and I'm going to go to free transform. Then what I'm going to do is move it over to the left slightly. And as you can see, that red channel has now broken away from the main photo, creating this really cool overlapping color effect. And we'll go ahead and just click OK. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of like turquoise coming through. And that's because blue and green create turquoise. So all we need to do is move either the blue or the green channel to actually create a three-way split channel effect. So I'm going to create this green channel here. I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to go to Free Transform, or that's Command T on your keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and move that to the right this time. And as you can see, those three channels are now split from red, green, and blue. So we can have a look at it like so. That looks really cool. But what happens if you want to split it four ways? Well, instead of using red, green, and blue, we can actually change the color mode of this particular cut photo into cyan, magenta, yellow, and black which is printable colors. And that is actually split into four channels instead of three channels like you can see here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to not save this photo. What I'm gonna do is reopen it again. So I'm gonna start from scratch. So again, reopen this photo. But this time I'm going to convert it into cyan, magenta, yellow, and black or CMYK. So what I'm gonna do, make sure we've got our background selected. I'm gonna to go to image, I'm going to mode, but instead of RGB this time, I'm going to choose CMYK. So I'm going to go ahead and select it like so. And as you can see, we've got this document pop up. 
and all you just need to do is just simply click OK. That's just saying we're converting it into a different colour profile. So you might lose a few bits of information if you've done any effects so far. Now what you want to do is to actually copy duplicate it three times, making four layers. So we've got our background here. I'm going to press Command J, Command J and Command J. And this time I'm going to name this one C for cyan. I'm going to name layer two magenta or M. And then I'm going to go and do yellow. So I'm going to do that Y. And then I'm going to do black. Now black's funny because instead of using B, we're going to actually use the letter K because that represents black within this particular color space. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So as you can see, we've got four layers. And what we want to do now is just again, break that down just using those channels. So I'm going to choose cyan. So I'm going to double click on that. And as you can see, we've got our four buttons here instead of the three. So I'm going to have cyan. So I'm going to turn those three off like so. So I've just got my cyan uh, layer ticked. And with magenta, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to turn off cyan, yellow and black. And then with yellow, I'm going to double click again. And instead, I'm just going to have yellow showing. So I'm going to turn off black, magenta and cyan. And then with the black layer, I'm just going to have yellow, magenta and cyan turned off. Lovely. So with these layers, they're now represented to each color space. So now all we need to do is just free transform them and move them apart from each other, creating that split channel effect. So with cyan, I'm going to press Command T and I'm going to go ahead and move that over to the left. Go for something like so. And then I'm going to do magenta. So I'm going to do that, Command T, move that slightly less to the left, like so. Press Enter. And then with the yellow, I'm actually going to move it over to the right instead. So I'm going to take yellow and I'm going to go ahead and move that over to the right. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Lovely. So now if we zoom in, you can see that now that is split into four different channels. And you can see this by turning the layers off. So we've got our black and white layer. We've got our yellow layer. We've got our magenta layer. And then lastly, we've got our cyan layer. And this creates a really cool effect. So go ahead and give it a go and write in the comments which particular channel profile you prefer, RGB or CMYK. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that's how you can create this really cool split channel effect using the red, green and blue channels, or you can go ahead and convert it into to CMYK. So you've got the cyan, magenta, yellow and black channels as well. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.